In this video, we will continue with Introduction to Logarithms. You will find this on page 397 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Now we will do the reverse. So convert each of the following from logarithmic form to exponential form. Okay. So basically, can you recall? I'm going to make it bigger. Again, we're going to keep the base the same. So we keep the base. Okay, there is the base. What is the base? Look there. It's 8. So we keep. And again, we swap that too. So now, um, at the base, it will not stand the 5, but it will stand the x. The 5 will stand on its own. The same. I keep the base. Okay, where is it now? Here. Yeah. I keep the base and I swap that too. It's easy as that. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number B and um, I'm going to give you three now. I want you to do C and I like the ones with no numbers. Okay, and D. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number B. So it's going to be log. 2, 1 equals 0. Okay, so keep the base. Keep the base. There's the base. Swap that too. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, let's look at number C. Okay, this one is negative 2 equals log 4, 1 over 16. Keep the base, keep the base, swap this two. So if the base will not stand the 1 over 16, it will now stand negative 2, and it's 1 over 16. And that's the one. And then the last one, number D. So log in in equals P. Oh, sorry. Put this pen away. Okay, let's do exactly the same as I, what I said to you. Keep the base. Keep the base. What is the base? My base is N. And swap this two. So now the P stands with the N. And this one, it's on its own. So N to the power P equals N. And that's how you do it. I think in this video, I just want to revise a few things. Um, this is also out of the ordinary level. But can I just, because I'm going to start with another video, another example. So I, I think it's best that I, with this, just go through the basic things. Condition, conditions for logarithmic to be defined. Since this is equivalent to this, from log form to index form, the conditions for this to be defined will also apply to this. So the conditions must work for both. So let's assume that the base is 1, okay? So if the base is 1. So if I then, in a swap, it must make sense. As I, like I said, you cannot swap it and it don't make sense. Okay, 2 to the power 0 is 1, makes sense. But if you have 1 to the power r equals 2, that, that's not correct. So 1 to the power s, that's not correct, okay? So 1 to the power any number it must be equal to 1. So the base of a log logarithm cannot be 1. Did you hear? Base not 1. Base not 1. Okay, let's go to the next, next one. Let's assume that the base is 0 now. 0. And swap. Mm -mm. Again, it doesn't make sense. It does. So base not 0. We go on. Let's assume that the base is a negative number, negative 2. So negative 2, oh, what's going to happen? That will bring to a negative square root. It cannot. Base, not negative. Okay, cannot be negative. So cannot be 1, cannot be 0, cannot be negative. So the base of a logarithm must be a positive real number and not equal to 1. So it must be bigger uh, than 0, bigger than 0, but not 1. Are you with? Because it can be a fraction. It can, see by be, it can be a half. So logarithms are not defined for 0 
and negative numbers, okay? The no real exponent can make the result negative. So, so this value of y, can I just show you where did I, I just want to see if it was on top. Yes. That value of y, do you see? This, this is the y. That value of y, I want you to, to take note of that. Just move this thing back. Um, okay. The value, oh, where is, okay. The base of the must be a positive real number and not equal to 1. Logarithms are not defined for 0 and negative numbers. No real exponent can make the result negative. So the result, so that value of y will also be bigger than 0. So it was all about the base. So the base must be bigger than 0. It cannot be 0. It cannot be 1. But it can be a fraction. Um, it cannot be a negative number. And then that value of y that, that value of y will always be bigger than zero. It's just a few um, principles that you have to know when it comes to working with logarithms.